Building a citation chain involves finding a set of research resources that are linked because they cite each other. A chain is created, so to speak, because one source cites another, which cites another, and so on. Paying attention to chains of citations can be a helpful exercise whenever you're getting to know about a research area, or preparing to write a research paper, or especially building a literature review. Oftentimes you'll just happen to discover chains as a side benefit as you explore the scholarly conversation. But in some cases, you might be asked to deliberately create a citation chain as a special type of class assignment. If you've been given this kind of citation chaining assignment, you'll want to use forward and backward citation search strategies to find a chain consisting of three or four sources, however many your assignment requires. As you likely know, many online tools make it easy to identify sources that cite each other. At least, technically. Because there's a catch, and it's one you might want to think about before just slapping together a list of sources. Not all citations are equally meaningful. There are many ways in which scholars draw upon or engage with each other's work. You might recognize this from your own research experience. In any given research project, you might deeply and critically engage with one source in an attentive, thoughtful way that reflects careful reading and understanding. You might barely mention a second source, perhaps listing it along with several others in passing in your writing. Many or most other sources you'll use in a way that falls somewhere in between casual reference and critical engagement. You might just draw on most sources briefly but meaningfully to draw on a bit of evidence or an insight or an effective quotation. Technically, you would cite all of these equally in your list of references. But the same is true of published scholarly works. Automated citation counters can't typically tell the difference between a critical engagement citation, a casual reference citation, or a standard research support citation, but a human reader can. So if you're building a citation chain for a special citation chain assignment, the success criteria for grading may or may not focus in part on how meaningful the connections between your sources are. So it might be in your best interest to build stronger chains by basing each linkage on something more than just a casual reference. Similarly, whether you're doing a dedicated assignment or just chaining citations as you explore the literature, seeking out critical engagement citations can be rewarding for at least three reasons. First, they model for you how to apply critical thinking about your sources. Second, Understanding the crux of a disagreement between sources can be thought-provoking, forcing you to judge for yourself and think for yourself. Third, understanding how two sources engage with each other can probably help you find a lot to write about, which is great if you're just starting out with academic writing and are worried about having enough to say. Overall, Citation chaining is a practical way to show your understanding of how scholarship works as a conversation.